Hello friends. This video is to introduce how to connect the DSL CCT and install the latest version of 1.4. Okay, collect the USB 3 cable, the external power supply cable. Here, I have downloaded the latest version 1.4. I will install this version first. This is the setup program. Very easy to install it. Simply follow the steps. I click desktop icon. Install. You don't need to launch the DSL CTP at this moment because you haven't installed the driver of CCT. Click finish. At this time, we can go to the device manager. Manage device manager. Here we can find the two channels, the APA0 and APA1, under the disk drives. Okay, within the other devices, you will find one unknown device and USB 0 unknown port. This is actually the COM port. You need to install the driver as well. So, right now, let's install the driver of the DDP first. Update driver software. Browse for the driver location. So, you should remember where you have installed the DSL CDP. Programs. DSL CDP drivers. Uh, my PC is Windows 7 32 bit. Okay, I select the 32 bit driver folder and then click OK. Click in. Yeah, install this driver software as well. The driver is installed successfully and the unknown device will disappear and under the universal serial bus controllers you will find the DFL device. This is the recognized DDP device. Okay. Now let's install the driver of the COM port. Update driver software. All drivers are located within the installation folder of the DDP. Click COM. Okay. Click OK. Click Load. Reselect. Yeah, reselect the com driver location. Next. Yeah, install it. Okay. The com driver 
have been installed successfully. Okay, let's install it again. ESL.com. Okay, so within your device manager, so check your disk drives, your two channels, then the COM port, the DFL COM port, and the DFL device. If these three parts have no problems and they come up normally like this way that means you have installed the dfl ddp successfully at this time you can close your device manager and double click your ddp icon on desktop it will show you it's not registered okay I will put this registration file on the desktop. DDP REG. It is registered. So after this file is generated successfully, please give it to DFL support staff. You can email to sales at Dolphin Data Lab dot com. Click OK. After you send this CDP registration file to the Dolphin support team you will get reply with one dfl.dat file so put this file to the ddp installation folder at this time the ddp program will start working for you so try clicking on the ddp icon Okay, checking the device. Device is working well. This is right now the 1.4, the latest version. Yeah. So, as for the CDP 1.4, users are required to update the DDP system. It's very easy. So here are some auto running programs. First one, yeah. My PC is 32 bit, so step one, click on this step one. Okay, step three is to restart your system. Okay, restart your DDP system and uh, so it's very easy to install this version. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for watching this video.